ASCO GI San Francisco just finished, and we have a great data for you, uh, a ranking based on buzz of the top 10, actually the top nearly 20 data disclosures. And out of these two, and only two of these trials, of these disclosures, have been discussed as being uh, changing or potentially changing of the standard of care. Checkmate. Um, 8HW uh, uh, and Netter 2. Bonjour, this is uh, Bruno Larvol. You're listening to Larvol Onco Data. Uh, I'm here with my, my two colleagues, uh, Dr. Mark Rambling, Dr. Judith Perez, and we're going to talk about ASCO GI in the next 15 minutes. We're going to try to make it as compact and useful to you as possible. Mark, microphone to you. Sure. Thanks, Bruno. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. So we'll just drop right into it. And maybe I'll re-describe what we're seeing in the visual real quickly. So as Bruno said, uh, this is social media reactions, specifically uh, from about 3,000 oncologists uh, that we uh, keep an eye out on, uh, on X, the artist formerly known as Twitter. So that's what we mean by social reactions here. And ASCO GI having just concluded, this is proverbial hot off the presses uh, from them. Uh, so what you're seeing here is obviously total number of tweets. We do an assessment analysis with our curators and we also use automated tools to do that. As you can see by the obvious colors, there's positive, there's negative reactions and also neutral. And a new feature uh, that we're, frankly, I think we're just debuting today, is where we're really calling out um, oncologists um, in our system, um, noting that a disclosure is practice changing. So that's a brand new development. And if anyone is interested in reaching out to us with a CLIN demo or maybe some credentials to set up a demo, you'll see that feature coming out very soon. Um, so really just to go into the list, um, it may be small on the screen, so just read out uh, from our side the top 10 that are emergent from GI. Obviously, the Checkmate 8HW was mentioned, um, as was uh, Netter 2, which is second in this list, uh, but also a high volume of reactions for other trials, inclusive of Emerald 1. Um, the um, uh, that would be uh, a taste based study with, uh, I believe, Derva on top of taste intervention. We've also got uh, Extend here as well, which has to do with uh, sort of treatment, uh, targeted treatment for metastases. Uh, the Spoke trial, which is involved with ctDNA um, measurements informing treatment, was also a very powerful trial. And just to, to round out, uh, looking at it as a list, uh, Skyscraper 08, uh, Matterhorn, another keynote here, 585. Um, and then finally, the ACTRN study um, sort of rounds out that uh, top 10. So um, that's what was huge, you know, the, the biggest impact, biggest impactful disclosures um, from GI. And so we, when we want to really address what this means in this analytic um, here in CLIN, perhaps we could go ahead and drill down and take a look around specifically for 8HW and then maybe subsequent to that uh, at Netter 2. So if you're on CLIN, you can see all of these analytics are interactive um, and Judith sharing her screen. So if you click through, we can take a look at 8HW and let's see what is coming out of that. I did a long setup and I want to make sure I yield to my colleague Judith, who's controlling the screen. Maybe if I toss it over to you, what would you say, maybe summarize from your perspective as the top liner um, from 8HW, and then maybe we could poke around and find one of those practice changing tweaks. Would that be okay? Sure, thank you, Mark. Uh, so we are looking at uh, Checkmate 8HW and the data ha that has been released comparing EP plus NIVO against chemotherapy. And all the uh, comments that have been posted on LinkedIn, on Twitter. And as Mark was saying, these, uh, we have these neutral reactions 
as well as these new uh, featured reactions that are practice changing, as have been tagged by the analyst in claim, uh, as well as some negative and other reactions in here. And we can see that this uh, trial, uh, it's uh, suggesting that maybe a new standard of care option uh, has been, um, could be there, could be coming from these uh, results. So the combination of EP plus NIVO, it's uh, working well compared to more, much better than chemotherapy indeed. And you can see the list of all the positive comments regarding this um, these results, as well as some others, as we're seeing, uh, practice changing regarding that. Thanks to the, the uh, PFS has a ratio, ratio which is significant and very small. And, and uh, Judith, when you say it's working well, it is, uh, of course, an understatement, uh, mm -hmm. right? And maybe in a second, we'll see the KM curve. Uh, it's mm -hmm. extraordinarily better to be on EP Nevo. I mean, the, 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 the hazard ratio, I think, is 0 0.21, um, is. Uh, which has maybe some, some issues, but why do we, did we keep the patient so long on, on, on the trial, on the uh, control? But it's working extremely well. Uh, I think that it, it's it's essentially from today, I assume mm -hmm. it's going to be standard of care. That that's my sense uh, from being at uh, at the conference and getting a sense of the pulse uh, at the conference uh, a couple of days ago. Indeed, going there uh, as you were saying, we can take a look to the KM curve, and some of the comments are about regarding that that there's no crossover. So let me get to. Uh, one of the features we have in clean that is the 360 view of a trial. And in here, so we get to the trial and get to see all the data that is uh, annotated to it. So all the publications with its story. But now we are interested in the KM curve. So if we get here, we can see that there's a huge gap in both. and. Um, uh, we are looking at PFS, and we can see that the above line is on NIVO plus EB compared to chemo. And the, that the uh, median is 5.9, and the other one, uh, I can see it right now. But it will be coming soon because we are also updating all this data as it's being uh, released. So we can see this huge gap between and, both curves. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. And just to triangulate the listener, if you're uh, not uh, well versed in CLIN, so immediately after we're seeing these data disclosures coming from GI, we have a full dedicated team, um, many sub teams that, that support CLIN, but a team that is dedicated to digitizing, if that's the right word, all of these curves from what is publicly available and putting that into one model. So what you're seeing is, because it may look different from maybe what you've seen on social media, what you're seeing is a, a digitized curve to put in a common data model of all the outcomes. And we do that uh, as, the, as soon as the, the conference is concluding, as soon as the data is out, we're processing that into being able to see um, that as you see on your screen now. So I just wanted to give a little bit of color about what we're looking at. Um, and you can also see um, in CLIN uh, a preview of the original version uh, if you have the right um, uh, paid, uh, well, paid access, if you will. You can also see what it's looking like on social media. So what uh, Judith showed briefly there, these are previews of the images posted on social. And you can see that when you click through uh, and see or as it was posted on Twitter. So we're not just covering the uh, sentiment, we're also covering all of the associated imagery and linking it to the trials. So definitely a big impact of um, 8HW there. Now, for sake of completeness, Judas, maybe we can hop back over to the sure. Netter 2 radiotherapy trial. And it would be interesting to pull some of that up and do also the same act exercise and see um, if we can look at the original data. So let's go back to conferences, GI. Um, and Netter 2 was number three on our list. And there were, uh, as we said, people calling out, not just people, uh, oncologists on Twitter, calling out it being practice changing. 
So maybe mm -hmm. let's uh, scroll through for this radiotherapy uh, intervention in jet nets and see if we can find one of those. There we go. So you can see a, de uh, a strong response there from an individual. Um, mm -hmm. And There's another one here. and again, I, I want to say as we're going through this, you know, we're we're collectors of information, we're purveyors of information, and we process and and uh, show all of this data on Clin. Uh, all of these people's opinions are their own. We're our job is to put them into a space where our users can find them. That sounded like a, a bit of a um, uh, a uh, public <laughs> uh, public service announcement, but I wanted to make sure you know uh, we're our job is to put all of this in one space so that users can just come to Clin, find all of this, find it analyzed, find it consolidated, and find it ranked without our own without our own opinions on it. We're reading where the data is, and that's what we were seeing here. Is the data is telling us. Uh, oncologist reacting to this as being practice changing. Um, and I think they're calling mostly, <clears throat> I think they're calling a PFS and the ORR uh, here, mm -hmm. um, whereas most people were calling out the PFS from the uh, AHW trial, especially. So perhaps we might not have time to jump all the way back to the trial view, but just to show how it works, um, if you're able to get on Larval Clin, we can just search for all the data about Netter2 by just going back to that trial um, tab. You can just fire it into a search function. So Judith, maybe just to demonstrate, yes, uh, just maybe. like we did before. So if you wanted yeah, to see more of the data, trials, yeah. yeah, so just go to Netter here. And you can look at the data yourself and make and derive your own uh, views as well. So let's see, there's Netter2 right there. And mm -hmm. just as we did before, you click down um, within Clin, you're getting, like I said before, um, these are from the late breaking GI. These are uh, pics from social media. Um, and so frankly, if we clicked on the bottom left while we're here, And again, um, uh, the one right below that. Mm -hmm. And again, um, you know, being able to preview these type of images comes with, um, you know, having clean, full clean access. Um, but this is just a preview of that data showing um, that this radial ligand, I, I'll mispronounce it, so I'll just call it a radial ligand, um, appears to be um, doing quite uh, well, in terms of the PFS um, for the intervention arm compared to that um, control here. Is it so really since we're short on time, maybe we'll just... That, 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 the... <laughs> like I said, that... uh, unfortunately, I I see this written all the time, but I don't know the appropriate Ooh. way to pronounce it. So I'm, I'm passing in the entrance of avoiding <laughs> self-embarrassment. So, um, so... I think we can close that out, Judith. Thank you for operating the um, the share screen. So that's our summary on the top um, the top trials, the top buzz coming out of ASCO GI. And lo and behold, we're going to have another round of this coming right around the corner because here comes ASCO GU, um, and we're looking forward to uh, assessing uh, buzz on social uh, for that conference in near term. So. Uh, we, we are the only company who does that. And so uh, if you are interested, if you're following, of course, um, uh, these conferences and interested in the impact of these disclosures, uh, we have a version of it just before the conference with emerging buzz, the anticipation, and then a version of it after the conference. So please reach out to uh, Mark, reach out to Judith, reach out to me. And uh, we can uh, give you um, um, a, a, a private demo. And also, uh, we might be able to give you a, a, a pilot um, a subscription to test our platform. Uh, thank you very much. Au revoir. And we'll see you for uh, our next uh, uh, podcast of Larval Data and this 
that time it would be, as Mark mentioned, about uh, ASCO GU. And after that, ACR. And after that, ASCO, big ASCO. Au revoir.